Breaking news. Ghani Adams replies Mayetiala for saying that cow will cost 2 million in southern Nigeria as a result of the governors coming on board to do what? To for the governors coming on board to say uh, we are putting a bound on open grazing. Hello, my wonderful people. The Aremu Akoko for of Yoruba land is saying, <laughs> if you like, put the price eh, at three million. Mm? Uh -huh. Must we eat cow? Must we eat meat? Must we eat red meat? As a matter of fact, you know, uh, uh, hygienically speaking, too much of red meat is not even good for you. Too much of red meat. To be quite candid, you can investigate. What, what happened to fish? What happened to chicken? What happened to goat? What happened to other uh, livestock products? Fish, uh, snail, uh, for those who eat pork. What happened to them? Must it be cow? Because we've so surrounded ourselves to say this is what we must eat. That's why we are being, you know, uh, being, being held hostage over this matter. Saying uh, we, will, we, will, we will stop cow sales to the south. We'll do this, we'll do that. It's now called a threat. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Ghani Adams replies Mayeti Allah for saying that cow will cost 2 million in southern Nigeria. The Aremu Akokofu of Yoruba land has replied the Mayeti Allah Cattle Breeder Association of Nigeria for saying that a single cow very soon will cost 2 million if anti open grazing law is passed which governors are already on and declaring, signing into law already. Why speaking, Ghaniada making clear that the people of the southern Nigeria, most especially Yorubas in the southwest region, will start eating fish if the cost of car rise to 2 million naira. According to Sahar reporters, Ghani Adams made this disclosure yesterday why speaking at a, speaking as a guest on punch online interview he therefore made it known that the north could threaten the south with anything they want to threaten but they should know that we are rare, well able equal to the task their threat mean nothing anymore there are other agricultural animal husbandry products we can have he went on and commended the southern governors for bounding open grazing across the 17 southern states making it clear that the countries are moving towards creating a secure environment for their people. This has gone on for far too long. Farmers can no longer go to their farm, have a peace of mind, and look after themselves. There is more to it. Why are they threatening everybody? Because there is a ban on open grazing. They can keep the cow to yourself. Other source of meat will arise for the people. You will be surprised. It's only a matter of time. Before you know it, the people will forget about the cow meat. Another source will replace it cleverly. This is really a good and a wonderful one from Ghani Adams. That only, we cannot, we don't have to only eat cow meat. When you, you can only eat the cow meat when you are alive. When you die, there is no eating of cow meat. So what are we talking about? There is no, cow meat is only for those that are alive. So if you are dead, that is it. For us to buy cow, uh, to buy cow at 2 million is fine, but you must not impose it on us. We are watching. So my people, now so the matter they reach, so now so they land on us. Ghanaian and don't reply then, say, now their life, not build their life, not, not being they eat cow meat. You can keep your cow meat to yourself. Don't worry, keep it to yourself. We are not arguing with you. We don't have anything to argue with you. We will eat uh, fish. We will eat uh, chicken. Eh? Everybody, before you know it now, when I was growing up, on a more serious note, we used to have a little cage where we used to rear chicken. You know? On a more serious note, my mom will, we have this cage, we buy the ch chicken feed, and before Christmas, we've read how many, and you know, but guess what? As time began to go on, everybody began to depend on frozen food, blah, 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 blah. And before you know it, we no longer have, you know, that, that thing that as you were growing up, you have a little bit of a, a vegetable farm just at the back of your house. Everybody began to depend. You know, we go back to that. It's not a crime to have a bit of, you know, those things you do. Yeah, it's not a crime. It helps the body, mind, and soul to work together. It helps people to become, you know, very industrious, going about doing their duty. Everybody's happy. You see, everybody's happy. 
So if you want to threaten uh, uh, Nigerians because you feel uh, you have not been given opportunity, it shows who truly you are. It shows where your mind is and uh, nobody will look at you. Everybody is watching and everybody knows that uh, you, are, you, are be you are becoming a bully. So you can actually keep the you can actually keep the cow to yourself. And this is what the South is saying. You can keep the cow to yourself. Help yourself. You can really keep it to yourself. So these are some of the things happening and Nigerians are really watching. How the, the how uh, you know Mighty Allah are putting structures in place to ensure that the oppressed Nigerians and the people, you know, uh, have to depend on them. On a more serious note, by the time we all begin to take it very seriously, we all begin to, you know, rise up to the occasion that, you know, we don't have to depend on these people. You know, if you know that, um, you know, you, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can use goat, there's ram, uh, chicken, there's fish, there's snail. These things are expensive, but don't get me wrong. But gradually, when everybody begins to rear, it's at the initial stage to be very expensive. When you are rearing, I'm rearing, we are all rearing these things. It will become very cheap. Yeah, it's only at the first stage, you know, demand and supply. When demand, when demand is high and supply is low, then that product becomes expensive. But when demand is, is equivalent to supply, that product not get choice. Uh -huh. When demand and supply meets, then everything is equilibrium. But when supply is more than demand, that's when things become cheap. You see, that's when things become cheap. So that's what was going to happen. By the time everybody has a farm, everybody is wearing goats, everybody is wearing chicken, everybody has a, a farm at the back of their house, you will see price will automatically be forced. It will face what it will nose dive. It will be a gradual process, but gradually, by the time you don't have people coming to buy it, sure you eat it yourself or you sell it in a hand. That's it just be. So, my people, now so the matter, they reach us, so we don't, they don't tell us, say, we say, that they plan, say, to suffer the people of the South, say, they support their governors to implement open grazing ban. They go buy one cow for two million naira. Ghani don't reply, then say, we say, on a feature up on a cow, we are not in interested. So, what do you think, now so the matter, they hit us, now so they reach us this morning, we someone will bring you now up to speed with what in my ATLA they talk and how they, they go about their disposition all on the same tantrum, say, Southern governors ban open grazing. We would like to hear what you think, oh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. May you still like us, okay? Share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you too go hear all our latest news. We appreciate you. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.